What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. For this video, I'll be covering both the crafting process and upgrading process of the new rank 5 and rank 6 legendaries for patch 9.1. These are kind of two different topics, so because this is a sort of two-part video, I recommend checking the timestamps for which part of information you're interested in. To start though, you can't exactly upgrade a legendary if there aren't people crafting them up to the rank you need. You'll need to be at the maximum crafting level as either a tailor, jewel crafter, leather worker, or blacksmith respectively for the type of gear you're trying to make the legendary base item for. Learning how to craft higher ranks of legendary base items is very grindy, and requires you to craft the same piece over and over which eventually fills up this little experience bar at the top of your crafting menu, enabling crafting of the next highest rank. However, this leveling process stops at rank 4 or 235 item level for gear. To get up to rank 5 and rank 6, you'll need a new optional reagent, the Vestige of Origins. This is a new item you'll have to craft, as it's a bind-on pickup optional reagent for making legendaries, similar to how crafter's marks work on regular gear that you craft. Using a Vestige of Origins in the optional reagent slot of whatever piece of legendary base gear you're trying to craft will add two ranks to it. Meaning, if you craft a rank 3 belt with an optional Vestige of Origins, it'll become rank 5 and rank 4s will become rank 6. You can use a Vestige of Origins on any rank of legendary base gear, but it only really makes sense to use it on rank 3 and rank 4 pieces, since these are very expensive to craft due to needing Corthite Crystals, which are the new legendary currency you'll find around Corthia, and this is necessary for making Vestiges of Origins. To learn how to craft the Vestige of Origins reagent, you'll need to complete a bit of the new campaign in Corthia. Specifically, you'll need to get most of the way through the chapter of the Last Sigil, which involves the Rune Carver and the Primus. Completing this section of the campaign will reward you the Tome of Origins, which is basically just the recipe that you have to right-click on so you can learn how to make the Vestige of Origins. However, if you happen to not have a profession that makes legendaries when you complete this chapter of the campaign, then you will not get this item as a reward. This means if you decide to pick up a crafting profession later on, you'll instead need to purchase the Tome of Origins from the Death's Advance Quartermaster. This item requires honored reputation to buy and costs 2,000 Stygia. It also appears that if you're not at 100 skill level of whatever legendary crafting profession you chose, then this item does not show up for sale, so make sure you max out whatever profession you're working on. Before we get into the upgrading process, a really, really quick TLDR basics of legendary crafting for newcomers to Shadowlands. You'll need to have given the Rune Carver a memory of whatever legendary power you want to craft. You'll run into the Rune Carver really early into the story once you hit level 60. Memories can come from a variety of sources based on your class and spec, so I highly recommend checking out your Legendary Powers tab in your UI, which should be from Keybind Shift J. The Powers tab will show how and where you get your legendary memory. You'll then need a base item compatible with whatever power you want to imbue on it. So for example, the Outlaw Rogue Power Celerity requires either a ring or shoulders for a base item. You'll then need missives, which are from the inscription profession, so check your local auction house for two of these, and they need to be two different stats since these are how you determine the stats that will go on the gear. Lastly, you'll need some currencies like Soul Ash and Soul Cinders, which I'll be going over in this next part. But basically, Soul Ash is for the lower ranking stuff and is earned primarily from running Torghast on any difficulty layer and is farmable. Soul Cinders, on the other hand, is the new currency for patch 9.1 things. It can come from a few sources as well, but primarily you'll be earning this from layers 8 through 12 of Torghast only. Soul Cinders is used exclusively when making or upgrading a legendary to rank 5 or rank 6, and you'll need quite a bit of it. You can also earn Soul Cinders once a week from the Tormentors of Torghast attack that occurs every other hour in the Maw. Some chapters of the new Patch 9.1 campaign will also award Soul Cinders, and the new Covenant Assault will award some as well. You may occasionally see some missions on your Covenant command table that do that too, but these are a very small source of this finite currency. Regardless of how you earn it, Soul Cinders is necessary for the crafting process for these two ranks exclusively. Just like Soul Ash, this is a pro-rated currency, so if you have a rank 4 you're upgrading to rank 5, it'll cost you 1100 Soul Cinders, and rank 5 to rank 6 is only 550. This means if you want to jump straight from rank 4 to rank 6, it'll cost you 1650 Soul Cinders. However, let's say you're crafting an entirely new legendary from scratch and want to make a rank 6 from absolutely nothing. You'll still need the rank 6 legendary base item and two different stat missives, which is how you determine the stats you want on the legendary. 
Again, they're made via the inscription profession, so if you're not a scribe, then check your server's auction house for some of them. For currencies, you'll need of course the 1650 soul cinders, but you'll also need 5150 soul ash, since that is how much you would have had to spend between ranks 1 through 4, and you're skipping all of those to go all the way up to 6. Basically, it just adds up the total cost of the currencies and tells you exactly how much you need in the UI. I'll put a chart up on screen too, but that's basically how that part works. And make sure when you're talking to the rune carver, you either select that you want to upgrade a legendary or craft a new one, because if you don't do that, then it'll give you all sorts of wrong information. What all this basically means is if you had a rank 2 or a rank 1 or a rank 3 legendary lying around that you wanted to bring up to speed up to rank 5 or 6 for instance, you would still need to spend a little bit of soul ash plus the soul cinders, as it's all prorated. A little more confusing than the original ranks of legendary crafting, but I hope this explains both the crafting process for the base item, as well as the upgrading and creation of the legendary you're trying to make. Regardless of which bit of info you were looking for, I hope that some of the video was useful to you. If so, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing to the channel if you're looking for other guides and information on WoW-related game systems, or just things in general for WoW. I try to cover a variety of stuff and put up several videos a week. As always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.